Hey, what's up guys? To create this echo text effect in DaVinci Resolve, let's just jump to the Fusion page and bring a text node first. Let's write our text in the text box. Let's change the font as well as the font type. We're also going to bump up the size of the text as well. Now, once all that's done, let's move to the shading tab. And the first thing we're going to do there is to change the color of this text to black. So now let's select the second element, which as you can see is going to create an outline uh, for our text here. So let's click enabled. Uh, I'm also going to change the color as well as the thickness uh, of the outline uh, as well. All right, now let's go ahead and create the path for our animation here by bringing a polygon masking node and we can just draw out the path on the screen. Uh, one thing to call out here, guys, is that let's make sure that we change all the points from linear to smooth. Uh, this is just going to help us create a better, a better path. And now let's just adjust the points a little bit there and we're gonna come to right click here for shape animation, right click and then select remove polygon one polyline. Now let's come back again, right click and then click publish. So now let's go to the modifiers tab. You can see that this uh, path has officially been published. Now let's go back to the text node, go to layout. Let's come to the center uh, setting here, right click and then select the path and then go to modifiers tab. Come to right click here for shape animation, right click in the menu, select connect to polygon one polyline and then let's make sure we select value. So now as you can see, the center of the text is now attached to the path. All right, let's come to the path one section here and remove the displacement keyframe for now. As you can see, as we change this setting, this is what's going to allow the text to move along the path. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and set a keyframe here at the beginning of the video. Now let's go to the end of the video, set a keyframe again by bringing it up to one. So now as uh, we uh, play through uh, this uh, clip here, you will see that this uh, text is going, to from, uh, is going to move from one end of the path to the other. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is to bring a duplicate node, which will allow us to create a, a, the echo effect. So uh, let's first of all change the number of copies uh, to 10. Now let's uh, go ahead and play with the time offset setting here. Now this is the key to create that echo look. So we're going to change it to a negative number. And all this means is that as the original text moves along the path, all the copies will follow one by one. But one issue at this point, guys, is that all these copies are not following along the right path. So the key to fix that is to click Merge Under. So now once that's done, uh, as we play this clip, you will notice that everything will be following along the path. Um, that, looks, that looks great. Now, one other thing I'm gonna do here is to change the number of copies to 15. Uh, I just think that a longer trail is going to, to look better for this effect. Uh, but uh, yeah, and now uh, the next thing uh, we're going to do, guys, is that towards the end of this video, I'm going to keyframe the time offset setting here. And then at the very end, bring the time offsetting uh, back up to zero. So now, as you can see, as the video uh, kind of wraps up, this trail will wrap up as well. All right, guys, so this is pretty much it uh, for the echo text effect. All right, one last thing I'm gonna to touch on here is that in case you want the original text to have a different color or style compared to the rest, uh, one thing you can do is to simply copy and then paste this text node, and then we're going to move the duplicate node uh, to the background text node here. And now let's come to the foreground text, and then uh, let's just go to the shading tab. Over here, you can change it to any color that you want. You can even uh, switch up the style a little bit here. But basically, this is how you can make the original uh, text stand out from the rest. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And as always, I will see you next time.